Welcome back to this week's video. My name is Amy, for those of you who don't know me yet. Um, this week I'm pretty excited about what I'm sharing. Since having my daughter, I've definitely tried to clean up my act when it comes to eating. I'm really dedicated to losing weight. I'm definitely terrified of um, putting this out onto video because it becomes a lot more um, you know, open and if I do fall off the wagon or whatever, I will have a few more people know about it. Now it's not a pyramid scheme, it's nothing miraculous. It is really about eating whole unprocessed natural food and I guess the plan that it falls under if you want to learn a little bit more is Whole30. For me I just don't want my daughter to have to experience the feelings that I've had growing up being the fat kid or you know the fat adult and yeah just feeling like I've never been able to get my together uh, when it came to a healthy lifestyle. So enjoy the video let me know your own struggles or how you've managed to overcome them and share your wins in the comments below. Enjoy it! Hey I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Throughout these videos you'll probably hear me referred to as Mama or Mummy more often than not. This is Vita, she gave me the title of Mummy and I'll be forever thankful my beautiful girl. This is Luxon, he's the baby of the family and the biggest snuggle monster I know. Occasionally you'll see this guy featured. He's my husband Phil and daddy to the kids. Join me as I share my journey leaning back into motherhood and being proud to be just a mum. We can look back someday Baby don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey come on now and take my hand Hello everyone. By the time you see this video, I would be 30 plus days deep into what I would call the Whole30 diet plan. Right, good morning everyone. It is day two of the Whole30 plan. I am feeling horrible today. That's the only word I can explain. I feel really tight through my forehead. Um, really a lot of brain fog. Um, just flat as, like no energy. Um, I, I feel hungry, but I don't feel like the food <laughs> that I'm allowed. Um, morning everyone, day three of Whole30. Um, oh, we've come to the playground to get out of the house. I am still feeling really rubbish, really flat, just no eating. Morning everyone, day four today. Woken up feeling really good, headaches sort of disappeared, and energy levels are feeling okay. So I'm going to go out for a walk with the kids, and yeah. Right, morning everyone. It is day five of the Whole30 and as you can tell, I am feeling a million times better. I'm in the office today doing some work and I'm feeling quite sharp in the mind, which is really, really nice. Welcome back to day six. Feeling really good today. Uh, the only thing I would say is that I've pulled a tendon in my toe, which is so painful. Uh, but other than that, feeling a million bucks today. Welcome to day seven of Whole30. I am feeling good, but my little my little big toe is killing me. I pulled a tendon in it and I can barely walk, so it is uh, throbbing when I'm sleeping at night. I'm on painkillers, but um, apart from that, I'm feeling really good. I won't lie, there's definitely been some instances where I'm starting to feel like I really want sugar. It still hasn't disappeared, the cravings or anything like that. And I go through bits of my day where I get hungry and I'm just trying to eat a little bit of protein like meat or um, meat or meat really. And Good morning, it is day eight. I wish I could say that I feel amazing. I do from the, um, the whole 30 aspect, but I have excruciating pain in my foot today. It's worse than yesterday. I am going to get some crutches and see a podiatrist today and try and figure out what the heck is going on. So everyone, it is day nine here on Whole30. Oh, so um, I am now at a point where I pretty much cannot put any weight on my ankle. So I'm on crutches and we've just had x-rays. Looks like there's no break, but it is super tough at the moment. I'm pretty much... Um, yeah, hanging out in my bed to the lounge, just trying to keep the kids organised and busy during the day. Uh, definitely not what I want to happen right now, and I guess they say that timing, it's never a great time for an injury to occur, but I feel like right now is in such a good groove. So I'm trying to keep positive, but it is definitely tough, and I think in moments like this I would be grabbing for food 
very quickly like chocolate and um, burgers but I know that in the long run it's not going to help me and I definitely think now that I can't actually be out walking and doing a lot of activity you know keeping my food really clean and everything just good uh, definitely has to be good for my weight so yeah frustrating time but I think I'm just going to try and prove that even when the trips are down um, we can still achieve um, a good whole 30 outcome so yeah from here on out the next three to four days were pretty tough but we got there in the end right good morning it is day 15 of whole 30 today and i thought i'd take the opportunity to just talk a little bit about i guess the benefits that i've been feeling and the struggles that i've had up until this point so as far as struggles go i think days one to four were probably among some of the toughest uh, and i thought it couldn't get any worse but then i ended up with the sesamoiditis issue and i was in excruciating pain now normally what i do within those moments of you know pain and despair and unhappiness as I would turn to food and so days sort of 4 through to 10 or 11 were really really tough. I think what kept me on track was the fact that Whole30 is so strict and if you do actually uh, make a food choice that's poor then you have to start again so I really wasn't prepared to do that and I really wanted to get to halfway as quickly as I could. So I guess the thing for me that I find is a real benefit of Whole30 is that it is really strict and as much as I'd love to be a person that could just eat in moderation the whole 80-20 rule, it just doesn't really work for me. I find that it just slowly get more and more creep of bad food and before I know it I'm just eating whatever I like again and really struggling. So I really like the strictness, uh, I like the idea that moving forward post Whole30 it's always a tool I can come back into so whenever I feel like that slip is happening I can just go right well the slip is happening let's push into our Whole30 again and do 30 more days. Good morning day 16 today, I am craving a lot of fruit and sugar at the moment. I do often wonder if uh, for women there's a lot of stuff that goes on through our cycle so I'm obviously over the halfway point and I always feel like from day 15 to 30 of my cycle I'm always hungrier. If I've ever tried to fast or do anything in the past days you know period 1 through to 15 I'm like really good at it and then I just start to get hungry so I've noticed my hunger has increased in the last couple of days um, and that's just making it a little bit hard. Uh, last night I really wanted something sweet so had to settle for a bit of fruit. All right, it is day 20 today, so feeling pumped that I've hit that milestone, two thirds of the way there. Um, feeling a bit better today, we've been able to get out and about, the sun's shining, my foot's feeling a bit better, so I've come for a small walk with the kids, so fingers crossed we can, um, yeah, get back into a little bit more activity. Um, that's definitely been the hardest battle, I think, is not being able to be, to do the physical side of it. Um, you know, the eating has been exceptionally clean, and I was hoping to probably lose a little bit more weight, but I think I've just got to be really thankful that I haven't put heaps on, which is what would have happened, I think, if I had been eating normally. So, yeah, I'm just going to celebrate that as a win. Um, really excited about closing the next 10 days out and getting it done. Good evening. Uh, I come to you late at night tonight, and most of the other days it has been in the mornings. Um, as you can see, I've got really bad hay fever at the moment, so my eyes are super itchy, my throat's really sore, and I've just felt rubbish for the last couple of days, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this being over, I'm looking forward to finding a way that I can try and um, create a lifestyle, I guess, or create a way of eating that uh, gives me a lot more flexibility. Uh, Good morning everyone, today is day 27, so I've got four more days to go. I think I'm just getting my days mixed up, I know that I finish um, on... The 30 day mark so 27 28 29 30 so that gives me four more days because it's the morning so looking forward to um the end now i can really smell it it's um not far away i'm feeling pretty good um i've just jumped out of the shower this is my skin um without any makeup on so yeah it's it's um i'm feeling cleansed to put it that way um, albeit a little bit hungry. And day 28 today, um, heading out for dinner tonight with a group of friends, so we're heading to a Thai restaurant. A little bit worried about how I'm gonna come up with food choices on that front, but I can um, only do my best. 
Hey everyone, day 30 today. I'm so excited. Um, tomorrow is the day that I get to wake up and have my very own cup of tea with dairy milk. So I'm still really committed to keeping my food nice and clean for the next 30 days, as I've mentioned previously. But it feels great to have achieved this. You know, it's been 30 really tough days, especially days one through to about 14. By the time you take those first four days, just being a total write-off as your body gets all the sugar and stuff out of its system. And then those following days where I had the sesamoiditis and was on crutches and unable to move. From there it's obviously been a little bit harder because I haven't been able to do any exercise so I'm going to be really interested to see how the weigh-in goes tomorrow and that will all be revealed uh, in the next little bit. Alright, have a great day. See you tomorrow. So all in all I've managed to lose just under 5 kgs which is just over uh, 10 pounds for those of you who aren't in kg metrics. Um, I was initially quite disappointed with this to be honest because I felt like I was really strict but if I look back over the last four weeks I've had a lot happen you know the first five or six days were great and then I had my sesamoiditis which basically meant that I was unable to uh, carry out any form of exercise for some days there I was couch bound and bed bound and on crutches. When I look at it overall I think that, that was a really good result because if I hadn't have been eating really clean I probably would have put some weight on. The main positives for me have been the cravings for chocolate and really fast food and fried food have disappeared. I'm now really content with having fruit or dates and I want to say the medjool if you can pronounce that better please let me know how to pronounce that in the um, box below but I've really enjoyed those as just a little snack when I've really been craving something sweet. So my plan for the next 30 days is to eat in a very similar fashion to what I've been eating. I'm just going to incorporate um, a little bit more dairy as in um, having it in a cup of tea and with milk and I'm also not going to be too strict on the additives that go into certain things like uh, stock or canned tomatoes or yeah just that type of thing. If I feel myself uh, slipping I'm going to go back into the strictness of it all but I'm really uh, confident that I can maintain this for the, at least the next 30 days anyway and in the next couple of weeks I should be able to incorporate walking back into the situation as um, my podiatrist has given me the okay to start doing some exercises to strengthen my toe again so I think that the next four weeks should bring some good results as well um, overall I'd highly recommend the Whole30 eating plan for anyone that's wanting to feel healthier feel cleaner and just have a plan I guess that works really well with the family as always if you haven't subscribed please do so it definitely helps me out please share with any friends or family that you think would benefit from watching these videos thanks again for watching and I will see you next week there goes the aeroplane above me great timing have a good one guys Hey, darling, <laughs> we could get out of town.